one of the big reasons why solid state batteries haven't really become a thing yet? Well, it's cost. There are actually solid state batteries right now that do work, but they're very, very expensive. Can 3D printing change this? Can it make them more precise, more exact, more perfect, and more real? Maybe. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Bangkok in Thailand. Not sure how long I'll be here for, but thanks to you guys, we've been able to afford Shanna's cancer treatment. If you want to know a bit more about what's happening there, I'll put a link in the description below. Can 3D printing finally make solid state electric car batteries practical, realistic, affordable? Saku's Carvian 3D printing process deposits metals, polymers, binders, and other things enabling cheaper, lighter, more sustainable, and power dense solid state batteries. Now, Saku is the first company to actually. 3D print fully functional solid state batteries, which they say the future of this technology. They could be right. They've made them in custom shapes and sizes with patented openings for thermal management in a completely dry process. Now, you're probably well aware of Tesla's attempts to have a dry anode and cathode. It saves a lot of money with manufacturing. There's actually some engineering advantages to that as well. The pioneering additive manufacturing company is on track for commercial scale production, they say, of printed batteries in major industries, including e-mobility, aerospace, EVs, and grid storage. So is this the real deal? Is it the real thing? Maybe it is. Now, the company says its Kavian platform can enable world-class energy and power density of printed batteries, including lithium ion, lithium metal, and solid state batteries at high volume production speeds. Really sounds perfect, doesn't it? Sounds like the next evolution of battery technology. Saku Corporation, who said that they are a transformative additive manufacturing and solid state battery company, an inventor of the disruptive Carvian platform solution for the commercial scale production of next generation Swift print batteries and other complex active devices announced that in December of 2022, they successfully and consistently 3D printed fully functional solid state batteries in custom shapes and sizes. These batteries were printed as patent cells containing patent openings for thermal management in a fully dry process at their Silicon Valley battery pilot facility line in the US. This marks a first of its kind in recorded manufacturing achievement and is an important step towards Saku's planned commercial scale production of next generation Swift print batteries, including solid state batteries from its Kavian platform in gigafactories worldwide. They say this technology is so good that it's gonna be built out in gigafactories all around the world. Is that real? Maybe, I don't know yet. Carl Littor, Chief Technology Officer at Saku said, our development shows that the Kavian platform can enable commercial scale sustainable production of a wide range of batteries from lithium ion to lithium metal to even solid state. Whereas traditional methods of advanced cell manufacturing continually run into core impediments that prevent mass scale production. Further, our printing process can allow for substantial gains in energy density for a completed battery. Finally, our platform can customize the form factor of the battery whereby the battery itself can become part of product design by customized shapes and sizes. In other words, it could be a structural battery built straight into the battery pack. This is a profound moment with enormous implications for advanced battery manufacturing. Saku so says they have invented a fully industrialized process for printing batteries using a proprietary multi-material, multi-layer approach in a parallel and dry process instead of slow layer on layer printing or screen printing, which use inherently wet processes that require significant energy to remove unwanted solvents and are susceptible to poor printing quality and unreliable production. The Saku invention can deliver low cost, high speed manufacturing capability coupled with flexibility in shape and form, while also delivering batteries in core categories 
that matter most to clients and customers. In other words, being able to say customize a battery shape and size for whatever whatever thing you happen to be needing to build at that time. For example, Saku's first printed batteries have demonstrated successful cycling performance and expectations are to be able to achieve an energy density of 800 to 1,100 watts per liter, which is an extremely high energy density. Utilizing proprietary lithium metal battery chemistry, which is really state-of-the-art new battery technology, Saku's printing process starts with raw material and ends with a ready-to-use pattern battery, creating a new paradigm in manufacturing and energy storage. If this is actually true, this would absolutely change the industry. It would be groundbreaking. The achievement of patent battery printing enables a more effective use of battery cell volume with new pathways in thermal dynamic regulation. One of the big differences between one battery pack being more efficient than another is actually utilizing the space inside that pack. It's one of the biggest things that CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, have talked about incessantly over the past six months. The Kirin battery, I call it the Kirin battery, they use a different Chinese name, but the point is, they say it has a higher energy density than Tesla's 4680 cells. One of the key reasons is because of the ability to utilize more space within the pack. Here though, with 3D printing a battery, you can utilize even more space than what CATL are doing with their latest generation batteries. For Sakus batteries, this allows integration of fixturing, sensors, and thermal transport pathways, as well as regulation through the pattern design, especially when Thin some cell battery structures are stacked with identical patent openings for thermal management in alignment. They said, we believe we have the only known solution for manufacturing solid state batteries at scale with our novel Carvian platform. Collectively, our additive manufacturing and battery teams have accomplished what most thought impossible, said Saku founder and CEO Robert Bagiri, printing custom pattern batteries using a dry process that starts with raw material and concludes with a fully functional high performance battery is a breakthrough that has the potential to transform how batteries of the future are manufactured for all industries. This milestone advances integration between our Carvian platform and our commercial scale battery production plans towards an energy output goal of 200 gigawatt hours by 2030 via a network of global partner gigafactories. So who's Carvian platform? Will it be sold? Who's going to use it? Well, it looks like it will be. It's going to be sold to other battery manufacturers as well as leading automotive, e-mobility, and aerospace manufacturers. So who haven't said who yet? Um, I'm not sure if they have any, any customers. Hopefully they do. Those seeking to mass produce batteries, they say, can shorten supply chains and gain key cell performance and safety attributes, as well as inherent material and energy savings and sustainability benefits for maximum product design innovation. In addition, Saku plans on licensing its own battery chemistries, both lithium metal and solid state batteries, to be produced with either traditional roll to roll manufacturing or in gigafactories utilizing Carbian manufacturing. So who is Saku? Well, Saku is a pioneering, they say they're a pioneering manufacturing technology company introducing a disruptive additive manufacturing platform approach to commercial scale production of batteries and other complex active devices. They're actually founded in 2016, and as of yet, we don't have a whole lot of evidence that these batteries actually work. But the theory behind what they're doing does make a lot of sense. And if their claims are true, this changes everything. It changes everything because, I mean, most battery companies right now, basically you've got to go to them to buy the batteries from them. They hold all the power, right? Uh, this sort of technology enables everyone to manufacture their own batteries. You could be living in Kazakhstan, buy the 3D printing machine that you need, buy the chemistries that you need from them. They'll license you the technology. You can make the batteries yourself. You could be anywhere in the world and have access to this technology based on Saku's business model. I really like that. That means that it's not a monopoly. Right now, we do have a battery monopoly. I mean, CATL own 40% of the world's battery manufacturing. China has 80% of the world's battery manufacturing. This could change that. Hopefully, it really works. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.